hello everyone welcome again to another short tutorial in this tutorial i will show you how you can apply a tensile loading on your system inside lamps and how you can post process the output data you can how can you make graphs and how can you present your data so let's start so first of all you have to open your browser and uh, you have to go to this uh, link i will force this link down below in the description and then you have to go down here uh, to this uh, tutorial number three and uh, you have to copy this uh, whole input file copy it from here and then you have to paste it somewhere in any text editor okay and uh, then um, you have to go back to this uh, we need the potential pile for that you have to go here going down here you have to click down on this link and again you have to control c control a control c and you have to copy this and you have to paste it here i have already done that so i don't need to paste it again you have to paste it and then you have to save this file with this name al99.em.li because in this code we are calling this from the same name so these two names they must be same uh, after that uh, i will do a few changes uh, to this file so yeah everything looks uh, yeah i don't need as I am only interested in the stress and the strain, so I will just uh, comment the other outputs. It will just make everything complex. And uh, here you can see uh, we are outputting to the this file df. So let's wait until it's got completed, and then we will post process the data. So now the simulation has been done. Uh, now we have to go to the folder. Here you can see this uh, file. This is being the output file uh, which we outputted with the help of the PEX. If you open it, you can see here there, there are these four columns. This is the P1, P2, P3 and P4 as was defined in this uh, command. You can see down here. Mm -hmm. this is the p1 p2 3 4 and uh, now the first p1 this is the strain the second one is the stress in x direction then this is the stress in y direction so you can use a lot of post processing tools i will just use simple the excel i just open any excel worksheet file and uh, after opening it uh, read this data from this text file uh, I have saved it on the desktop, this file, open it and next uh, I want to do this by tab in space, next general finish, this is my first uh, cell and now you can see the data, the first one uh, shows the stress, uh, side strain and the second one is the stress, go to the insert and uh, click on the graph uh sorry wait wait go here and click uh, okay and uh, then i will select the data and uh, add uh, name should be stress uh, strain and the x value x value on x i want uh, this value so just select this column okay and then the y i want 
this the stress in the x direction so this is the y value and uh, okay okay so here you can see uh here you can see this is the required stress strain graph you can then change the um, like format axis and uh, then this is up to 1.2 if you want to do it to like 0 0.4 so now you can see it looks like the stress strain curve so that's how you can easily make uh, a stress strain curve inside uh, uh, like you can do tensile loading inside lamps and you can output your results so i hope you guys would have liked this video please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and soon i will come with another short video until then uh goodbye